Hey guys and welcome to our channel. For those who are new here, my name is Islam and I'm a third year medical student. I'm so so excited about today's video and as you can see from the title, today's video is about how we can maintain a life balance between med school studying and how to study for years from these tip 1 examination. So let's get it started. When I first started my med school, it took me a while to figure out the best study strategies. I was so overwhelmed by the 20 million resources over there for studying medical school. Right now, I'm much more comfortable with the resources I've chosen and I'm gonna show you the best study method and the best site you can use for use Millie's tip 1 board examination. MediSchool Bootcamp is literally a lifesaver. It has everything you need in one. I like to think of it as a one-step shop for every resource you need. MediSchool Bootcamp has regular videos, board style questions, and TA support 24 hours for anything you could possibly ask. And there are people who are there online to answer your question 24 seven. Like it takes them just a few hours, a few minutes to answer my question. For those who are new here, I'm providing medical courses like surgery courses and anatomy courses on my channel. And at first, I struggled to find a way to maintain a balance between my medical life. I like to have time with my family, hang out with my friends, and exactly to prepare for use Millie's Step 1 examination. And MediSchool Bootcamp was a literal lifesaver for me. As bootcamp team provide like a videos for high yield points and high yield information in less than 20 minutes or at least 10 minutes. And right now I'm gonna take you through a journey in the bootcamp site to show you all the features they are providing for us. So let's go. Discord mods. So there is a lot on the package here, so let's start on the home page. As you can see here, there is a lot of different courses organized alphabetically regarding step one, biochemistry, biostatistics, cardiology, dermatology, and if we go all the way down, you can see a lot of different courses here. And right in the bottom, you can see the fundamental courses like gross anatomy, neuroanatomy, histology, embryology, and all that stuff. Here we can go up and go for neurology, for example. So on the top of the page, you can see the duration of the unit and so the instructors are running the unit. Now, if you scroll down here a little bit, you can see all of these chapters. So let's go to any topic, for example, the cranial nerves. And what you notice and the first thing you can have is a PDF or a resource for each chapter. And the PDF is basically a master lesson outline feature, which essentially allows you to follow along with the video and take notes. And you can see here under the resources tab, we have the first video of this chapter. And then after each video, there is a quiz, which is kind of nice because it forces you to actively engage in the video. It's not like you watch in a 40 minute video and then you can't remember anything from it. So the thing that I really like about the video is that it highlights everything you want to need about this topic in one slide. Like you don't have to go through 20 or 50 different slides and go from slide to slide and like you forget everything about it. And each video also has a chapter breakdown so you can pretty easily skim through different parts of the video. You can see for example thrombopoiesis is covered in this section here, hormonal effects in the other section. And the next big thing that I want to mention is the board side question. And there's a lot of different ways that you can create a test from here. You can go to step one Q banks. And for example, if we click on create a test, you can choose whatever chapters you want to create a test on. So as you can see here, we've started our test and it has an interface that really mimics the real thing. And just for the sake of example, we're going to select any random option here. You can see the explanation in general are pretty detailed in this question. And it usually has an image that you can look at and go into many details. And as many of you know, you gotta go through all the other answers and you know why the wrong answers are wrong. One of the other things that is really unique about this platform is that there's also a linked related lesson to the question. Like if there's a question you really didn't understand and you want a more detailed explanation, you can just click the link here and jump over to watch the video again. And like if you want to ask more question like about the vignette or the question to get more clarity about it, you're gonna click here and ask whatever you want and the TA expert will get back to you. And also, I don't want to overshadow the amazing anatomy course, especially if you are a first year or if you're going through the anatomy course. This is a great duality between. And if you see here, there's a lot of different domains, step one preclinical domain. And if you click here, 
there's an anatomy bootcamp domain. Anatomy bootcamp domain is really break down to four major topics. Let's go to the biggest one is the gross anatomy. And one of the best thing about gross anatomy is not only the anatomy videos or question banks that we've talked about and references, they also have practical exams. So for example, if click here and begin the practice, and as we see here, we have a cadaveric image that is probably similar to what you may see in the cadaveric lab. And there is pretty much every domain of gross anatomy. As you can see, there is an upper and lower limbs, head and neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis, and all of these domains has an accompanied videos and have question banks and reference and all that stuff. And this is just gross anatomy. There is neuroanatomy, histology, embryology. We have a histology atlas. You can see that there is histology images that is integrated with the explanation. I want to also mention that they also have an Anki deck. They also have a full integration into the Anki V12. And one of the big things that I personally like about Bootcamp is a step one study schedule. So you can see here, this is a skeleton here. And the nice thing about it is that there is a lot of interweaving of topics. And from my perspective, this is the best way of how to approach step one. So you can see here, this is the first week, second week, third week, and all the topics and there's days off. And they also have the question of the day feature. They also have tagged question. And also many school bootcamp is always dynamic. They are always updating stuff, updating topics, adding something, removing something else. They are also making updates in the site. And also you can track your performance from a domain here called performance. If you click on it, you can see your subject performance, your quiz or questions performance. And here, as you can see, a real student reviews of bootcamp. So guys, if you have any question about bootcamp, you can leave it in the comment section below and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and see you soon. Bye.